Hey guys, it's your boy Vyu back with more Marvel Future Fight content and today we are taking a look at Iron Man level 80 versus level 80 Moon Knight which is the best level 80 character in the game at the moment of course Thor is coming with Love and Thunder so excited for that but now let's just check it out now uh, there's one catch though uh, for most of the accounts there is a difference between uh, energy attack and physical attack on the comic cards and most of the time it's actually more energy attack compared to physical attack on most of the account so i have that considered in the mind and i did change some team ups to try to balance it out but it's not gonna be like it's it's never gonna happen you know exact same physical attack exact same energy attack so anyways let's take a look at the stats and then we will go to the runs we will be testing out null stage 24 the first 30 hours as well as uh full solo gbr runs with both of these characters with the cdp of rages so let's check it out first of all with iron man uh, we got everything maxed out. We got uh, no Odin's blessing on this guy. Ignore defense. Uh, gears are 25. All skills are level 6 as well. Uh, we got uh, blast type enhancement rank 3. Power of Angel stage 12. We have a 3 star justice artifact with the instinct critical rate. And CDP of rage with a mythic uniform with these uniform options. I only have 2 of them. So that's how it goes. Uh, as far as Moon Knight is concerned, I have everything maxed out. Attack speed will be maxed out once I use the fifth skill. Uh, he does have eight Odin's blessings, but the card's difference is a bit too much, so I'll let you guys know in a bit. Uh, we got dodge. All skills are level uh, six, but the uh, six skill five. I just did that. I'm not sure why I did that. I just did that. <laughs> okay, just taste, uh, just one skill stage ten, and then we have all skills are level, uh, uh, all gears are level twenty five. Max level tap enhancement override stage twelve. We also have a justice instinct critical rate, exactly the same artifact with the CDP of rage and a mythic uniform with these uniform options. I have more physical attack and energy attack options for Moon Knight. Now there are eight Odin's blessings on Moon Knight. Apart from that, exactly the same build on the cards. Though we have one twenty percent energy attack via we only have 75% physical attack on the card. I will be changing this soon because I'm gonna equip my White Fox card. But there is a freaking and there is energy attack proc as well. So I would say there is about uh, more than 50% energy attack difference. Uh, like energy attack to physical attack difference. So we have 50% less physical attack on the cards compared to the uh, compared to the energy attack. So that's why I changed some team up. Uh, let's just try and go to the null run. So first of all, just heads up for null run. I did uh, go with Cyclops leadership with the hero team up, which gives you 25%. And then I ran Iron Man with his own leadership because of course this is only giving me 25%. And for the GBR run, I went with the white fox team up with this guy which is probably the best and then i went with the wave team up as well so without uh, further ado let's just dive right into the content and let's see which one is stronger all right first up we have the null stage 24 with the cyclops leadership it is the moon knight run that i'm gonna be showing i have iron man as a team up but it does not really matter and uh, Moon Knight has one advantage over Iron Man by the way and yes I'm trying the ABX rotation like you can try the uh, 3 cancel 645 or 3 cancel 465 instant cancel 6 skill rotation as well but this uh, I found to be working the best for me anyways now Moon Knight had one big advantage right now uh, and that is the guard break immunity that he natively actually has Iron Man does not have it uh, then so because of that we will be Delaying the attack for Iron Man for about uh, seven or eight seconds in the beginning, but we will see the time as well. Anyways, so we use transcend skill here. I just wanted to get some extra damage. I didn't want to waste any time. Uh, probably the last rotation, and we should be getting able to down now. 416, pretty nice time with the cycle of leadership. Now, Iron Man, we have to stall, like, we have to waste, like, about I don't know, one right look at that so we just wasted seven seconds. We started seven seconds late, although, let's see what we can do. We have one rotation here, which is pretty nice. We got four, cancel two, cancel five, and then it should come up. So I just use a co-op skill just so that I don't get caught up. Uh, tier three skill and look at the damage now. Look at the freaking damage. He could have done it right now, right there. He could have literally done it at 430 if the procs were just a bit better with that. And then boom. So. Yeah, he beats the shit out of uh, Moon Knight for sure. It's like freaking 10 seconds faster. I know there's still a difference between the energy attack and the physical attack, but that was very impressive. Plus, at the 
एट सेकेंड और सेवन सेकेंड दैट वी वेस्ट इन दी बिगिनिंग नाउ जी बी आर इज अ टोटली डिफरेंट स्टोरी ओके आई टेल यू सो दिस इज द जी बी आर यू कैन सी इज अ कॉम्बैट जी बी आर सो आई डिड रन बोथ ऑफ दीज कैरेक्टर्स ऑन टाइप एडवांटेज लाइक आयन मैन ऑन द ब्लास्ट डे एंड मून एट ऑन द स्पीड डे सो वी कैन हैव एग्जैक्टली द सेम मे बी एग्जैक्टली सेम अराउंड दी एग्जैक्टली सेम कंपेरिजन ऑल दो आई थिंक यूनिवर्सल माइट हैव बीन अ बिट बैर बिकॉज एवरीबडी वुड वुड बी जस्ट अ लाइक नाउ दे वॉज वन बिग इश्यू लाइक आई एम एन इज डूइंग डैमेज यू कैन सी आई एम द वन डूइंग मोस्ट डैमेज ओके आई आई हैव लाइक फ्रीकिंग नाइन्टी परसेंट डैमेज राइट नाउ आई एम फ्रीकिंग कैरिंग दिस गाइज एंड आई डो नो द द डैमेज वॉज जस्ट नॉट दैट इम्प्रेसिव आई थॉट डॉक्टर स्ट्रेंज आई वुड से इज अ मच बेटर ऑप्शन एज अ टी एथ्री कैरेक्टर uh i think iron man is only better than doctor strange at tier 4 and i do think that doctor strange is a better overall character in terms of the tier 3 performance of that so this is that is how it actually goes so we have uh, we we got sent to this ka this thing uh we are at like 44 45 it was not the best run as you ka, as you saw i got guard broke a bit as well here and it did it does actually make a difference uh, when you get guard broken or anything but we will be able to like you can see when the tier 3 skill hits you actually has a really good damage the burst damage is there but we barely were able to finish this here like about 20 seconds to go it could have been faster but i don't think i had like a like like a one in a million horrible run that i could probably do it like in like under 3 minutes or something it is a problem i i just cannot do and this is probably the best support that i can give him i know i don't have hulkbuster transcended but i'm just saying uh, that most of the people actually don't have hulkbuster transcended and uh, the buff still were really good now we have sif which is close to the wave support and then we have white fox which uh, makes up for that 50% less attack iron man was running with 50% from valkyrie and the ignore dodge i'm not really sure if the ignore dodge actually helps with the a level 80 characters but there was 50% damage increase to villains we have 60% in white fox which is 10% more so that's all right we still have a freaking 50% energy to physical attack difference on the cards and then we have the 15% chain it damage and the 10% attack as well so i think it closes down to maybe we we might still have about 10 to 15% uh, uh difference between the physical and energy if you combine all the supports and everything buffs and everything but man uh, i found moon knight's damage way more consistent i know the proc was not that amazing honestly i was uh, not really impressed with the proc i was expecting a bit better proc but in the cdp of rage uh, it happens uh, energy will be like look at that the proc did not even actually activate there CDP of energy will be a much 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 better choice for uh, damage procs but rage of course is better in most of the cases abx as well unless you have like a brilliant energy which most people don't have anyways so you can see the damage right here we get the proc and the damage is pretty nice with the transcend skill and uh, he will shine a lot faster he will be a lot faster when he gets the tier 3 when he reaches the tier 3 and uh, you can see we are literally going to be able to get it down in 350 seconds maybe last rotation if we get the proc and we were able to finish it 350 349 350 finished it even if we had like maybe 10% even more physical attack like that was of course 10% less physical attack he's definitely a lot more faster than iron man so it's a typical situation but let's talk about the summary So uh, it's a bit tricky, but I think it's pretty clear from the testing as well. Now uh, I would like to add something here. I did find that on Ultron World Boss Legend they were very similar. Iron Man and Moon Knight were very similar on Ultron. It could be depending on the iframes and the phases that you go through, and it might just you just waste your time and everything. But they actually uh, were very close when I did the testing. I was not able to add the recordings in this video. I'll may I might just do that in the later video. For Null World. was legend specifically i do think iron man is super strong iron man is uh, like clearly the winner uh, he literally killed it i know he has more uh, more stuff he probably had like about 30% extra energy attack on that run but he was literally melting it moon knight was not doing that kind of damage moon knight needs the cdp of energy to do that while iron man did that with a rage which is awesome so i do think for world boss legend specifically i think iron man will be a better choice than moon knight to go for for gbr though 
Well, Moon Knight literally just beat the shit out of Iron Man, okay? Uh, we had the White Fox Award with the paywall uniform, so we were also getting the chain of damage. But... There's a 50% difference between the uh, between the physical attack and energy attack, and the support that we use for Iron Man was also really good. So, yeah, I, I do think that Moon Knight is a way way better choice compared to Iron Man. The runs actually, Iron Man run was on the combat GBR Dormammu, as well as the Moon Knight run was on the speed uh, GBR Dormammu with the uh, type advantage so i did that with that maybe if i uh include or maybe I, if i enhance the tap enhancement of iron man a bit more he might be able to finish it sooner of course but the moon knight damage was a far more impressive uh i think th- uh, throughout the run and we d- almost did exactly the same percentage of the damage as well so again world boss legend Iron Man, GBR, go for uh, Moon Knight, ABX and Squad Battle, Moon Knight is the winner, he is amazing, st- far more stronger than Iron Man, and for Ultron, they are very, very close, so there is the comparison, there is uh, my choices and my suggestions for you, and now you can just choose which, whichever you wanna, whichever content you wanna push, and you can work on the similar, work on the specific character for that content. Let me know what you think about the video, let me know what you think about the characters, which one is your favorite before th- Thor tier 4 comes out with the level 80 with the love and thunder super excited for that and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one